breaking news here at WLWT. The big news of the day, the man who's been trying to keep us safe from the coronavirus, test positive himself. Let's listen in to Governor Mike DeWine. He was getting ready to meet the president in the Cleveland area, got a rapid uh, test and it was positive. Here he is. Uh, found out uh, shortly thereafter that I had tested positive. Uh, so that was a big, a big surprise. Uh, Obviously could not see the president, uh, could not greet the president. It, was, it had been my intention to be there to, to greet him when he flew into, into Cleveland. Uh, uh, called Fran and uh, headed, headed back and uh, stopped in, in Columbus. Uh, and Fran and I uh, and uh, some of the people who worked very, very closely uh, with me uh, were, were tested. Uh, it was not a rapid test, so we don't do not have the test back yet. But um, you know, I feel fine. Um, have a headache, um, but uh, you know, I, I I get a lot of headaches throughout my life, so a headache is not uh, anything that unusual. So besides that, uh, I, I feel well. So um, uh, a big surprise to me, and uh, certainly a big surprise to our family. Uh, when I found out, I called Fran, then I called uh, each of our uh, seven children because I figured the news would be out pretty quickly. So I wanted them to hear that uh, directly from me and I was able to reach all of them. And uh, so here we are, Fran, I just got back here uh, in Cedarville, I guess about a half an hour ago. So more than happy to uh, take any, any questions. Uh, just a reminder for reporters, you will be remain on mute uh, until your question is called. Uh, if you wish to ask a question, please uh, mention so in the Zoom chat. Governor, our first question will be from Kevin Landers at WBNS 10 TV in Columbus. Hello, Governor. Can you hear me? Hey, Kevin, I, I can I can hear you well, Kevin. Thank you. Very, very good. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, sure. Governor, do you have any idea where you may have contacted this virus? And considering your age, what have doctors told you about your recovery from it? Thank you. Well, they haven't told me anything, but I've, I've read enough about it, uh, you know, to have some idea what, what we're dealing with. Uh, so we've not had any discussion with any doctor about, about that. Um, uh, you know, so where, where did I get it? I have no idea. Um, you know, you're watching me on the front porch uh, at, at our home, home that we've lived in since 1974. Um, and, uh, you know, we, I basically, since uh, the virus came on, um, since we started dealing with the coronavirus in March, uh, Fran and I have, have lived out of here. Uh, we were living out of here every week during the weekend, but um, we left the governor's residence. We came here. Uh, we have a farm that goes down that way. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're very, very careful with, with who we see. Uh, we have two daughters that live down the road. Uh, we have four grandchildren. Uh, but, you know, even with them, um, you know, we wear a mask. Uh, we walk down there. Uh, we keep our distance. Uh, both, our, both our daughters are, are, are pregnant, uh, expecting babies, and we're very excited about that. Uh, but, we, you know, we keep our distance there. Uh, as far as our office, um, you know, there's really four people down that way. Basically, uh, you know, I see these four people. Uh, I see these four people only uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, or Eric, who's behind the camera, who you hear me always talking about, is also behind the camera today. He was also tested today. Um, you know, I'll see him if we do a remote TV shot. We did uh, Cuomo last night, CNN. We did it from uh, right in here in the house, and uh, you know, he was there. So, with those four people. Uh, um, home that we've lived that's in. really about about it um and uh, you know we i bet Well, we've got a little uh, pause here, I guess. Whoever has the next question. 
next question is from uh, Jason uh, Lalji uh, at USA Today. Uh, Jason, please unmute and ask your question. Hi, Governor. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Jason. Uh, have you been getting tested regularly before now as a matter of uh, your government's protocol? What does testing look like for you other than when you publicly demonstrated a test in June and in preparation for the president's visit today? That's the only other test I've had. So I'll, as of right now, I've had three tests, two today and in that one that we did did publicly. That was it. I mean, I had no symptoms. Um, you know, I had no indication that um, no reason to think I had the, the COVID-19. So I've not done any other testing. Our uh, next question is uh, from uh, Farnoosh Amiri at the Associated Press. Hi, Governor. Thanks for Hi. taking the time today. Um, what message do you hope that that this sends to Ohioans? I mean, you're someone who has um, very, uh, very publicly worn a mask and advocated for masks and social. And like you said, you have not left your residence. You've avoided a lot of public gatherings, even when the vice president was in town um, last month. So what does it does this kind of say to Ohioans or, or to the American public that someone who took all the precautions and still got it? Well, it's it's you know nothing really new. I mean, it's what we've said and what the experts have said, uh, and that is that it's uh, you know very contagious. Uh, it is here. It lives among us. Um, uh, you know, we know you're always simply dealing with trying to improve your odds. And when you wear a mask, you're improving your odds, odds dramatically. Um, but that does not mean you, you won't get it. Uh, you restrict the number of people you see. That improves your odds dramatically. But it simply does not mean that, you know, there's no guarantees. Uh, there's no guarantees in life. Uh, so, you know, I don't think people should read a whole lot uh, – lot into this. Uh, it is uh, other than what we already know, which is just a very dangerous, uh, you know, and it's very contagious. Governor, your next question is from Ori Givens at Spectrum News. There we go. Good afternoon, Governor. First of all, I want to wish you well. I hope you uh, recover quickly. I want to ask about the test. What type of test was it that you took that gave you the results so quickly? And I'm curious how available those tests are. Uh, you know, this was a test uh, that was arranged by the White House. And frankly, that's all I know. I really did not ask. I didn't think much about it. Uh, the protocol, of course, is I, you know, I had at one point I had uh, an appointment to see the president uh, in Washington. Uh, they explained that I would get a test right then, they would get the results back, and then I would be able to go see the president. We, that did not take place. The meeting did not take place. I think we had some conflict. Uh, but uh, So I don't know. I mean, it's a, obviously, it's a rapid test. I mean, they, they got the results back right away. Uh, but beyond that, I can't tell you. I'm sure the White House can, you know, can tell you exactly what the test was. I don't know. Our next question is from Laura Queso of WKYC in Cleveland. Hey, Governor, I'm glad to see you are doing well. I do have a question. Uh, social media kind of going crazy right now. A lot of people saying uh, this is an example of why I don't need to wear a mask. I thought masks worked. Uh, what would you say to those people who are now doubting um, that whether or not they should wear a mask since clearly you have been wearing one? Well, I've already got a few texts. Um, you know, not so nice text uh, from people uh, about about that. It's sort of, you know, we told you this was all fake, and uh, you know, we, we told you that wearing masks didn't matter. But look, we know it. We know it does. Uh, if people, you know, take that lesson from the fact that I apparently have it, uh, that would be the wrong lesson. It would be very very sad, and that would that will will upset me quite a bit. Uh, because that's not the lesson that should come from this. Uh, you know, the lesson should come from this is that we're all human. Uh, this virus is everywhere. Uh, this virus is very tough. Um, and yes, it, you, you can contract it even when you're being very, very careful and even when you're wearing a mask. But 
your odds are just dramatically better. And uh, my odds obviously, you know, weren't, weren't good that day that I contracted it. Uh, and, and, you know, there's some things that are out of our control, but, um, you know, I've had some people in the past of, of you know, we made mention of God and that uh, we should trust in God. And uh, I, I kind of go back to what my wife, Fran, always has said, uh, as long as I've known her, uh, and that is, you know, God helps those who help themselves. And so, you know, you try and you, you, you do those things. And usually, uh, you know, we know it improves your odds. It, it improves your, oper- your chances of not getting it or, or decreases the chances that you get it. But there's nothing certain in life. And, uh, you know, that's... It's, uh, it's, it's not, uh, uh, there's, there's just no guarantees in life. Our next question is uh, from Matt Wright of WJW in Cleveland. Hi, Governor. Can you please tell us uh, exactly where and when you were tested here in the Cleveland area today? And then also uh, on the second test you had, have you received those results? And if so, what's the result? No, this was not, the second test was not a rapid test. So we've not received those uh, results yet. Uh, would not expect to for a while. Uh, you know, they, they said we might get those later tonight, uh, but uh, I don't. I don't know. You know, we, we didn't expect to have them back this soon at all. As far as the location, the test. I was not driving. The highway patrol was driving, and, and quite candidly, I didn't even look to see where we were. Uh, I was uh, uh, answering emails and on the phone and paid no attention. I got out, I got the test, I got back in the car and started working again. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, we can supply that information uh, for you. It was a place where testing was occurring. um, And, you know, it was public testing that day. Our next question is from Andrew Tobias at cleveland.com. Hi, Governor. Uh, My question are, uh, why Lieutenant Governor John Husted continued with the event today if you're concerned that he was exposed. And then also generally, I was hoping that you could address how you 